Defender of the Crown is a classic strategy game that was released in 1986 on a number of systems like the Commodore 64, the Commodore Amiga, Atari ST and PC. It's basically a computer version of the board game like much like Risk. You choose one of four characters you raise an army and try and capture the surrounding territories of you know, from rival castle lords in order to unite England. Now this is a classic game and a lot of people have fond memories, really good memories, of this game. It's a lovely simple game, a lovely concept that had some really good handmade graphics. You know, this was way back when there was no software for 3D and for you know creating this beautiful graphics you know that there were only so much colors for example this game was fully mouse driven and that worked really well now this game is released on iPad by a company named Monomio. I guess they licensed the game from the original creator Cinemaware or something but did absolutely nothing nothing to enhance it for iPad. I'm not saying that they should completely have remade the game I'm only saying that they could have utilized the touch control. I mean the iPad is a touch device the fact of the matter is that Monomio, the company, only ported this game including the mouse controls. They absolutely added nothing to it to, to enhance the experience. Now this is so dumb. I have made a little review of the uh, Pirates, Sid Meier Pirates game and that is the way they should have done it. Or no, I'm, I'm just keep the whole game but only add the touchscreen controls that that shouldn't be too hard monomio anyway you can't directly select options by tapping on the touchscreen instead you need to swipe the mouse cursor to a specific option and only then can you tap the screen to select it now this is this is so unuseful it's a disgrace for iPad users that expect direct controls through the touchscreen. It's also a lack of respect for classic games and classic gamers who like Defender of the Crown, who have these fond memories of this game. So I urge you to avoid this version of the game. I don't know, it's six or seven dollars, but every penny you spend on this game is too much. This is a classic example of a of a cash in. So don't let nostalgia get the better of you. Shame, shame, shame on you, Monomio. This game, no, not this game. Monomio gets a 1 out of 10. Not the game, but Monomio. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Leave comments. Thanks for watching.